The next area I start with is the feet. You always want to do your feet before you start scissoring your legs, just because we already set in this area here with our guard comb. Um, and if you start scissoring, it's kind of like you're scissoring to nowhere. You don't have an end point. If you do their feet first, you have an end point. So you know I need to make this length match this length. And it gives you somewhere to stop with your eye. Um, and you always want the legs to be straight down. So it gives you a good stopping point. Now my vet went a little clipper happy on her foot here. So there is a spot on the back of her hock, which might be a little short once I trim it. Um, but what are you gonna do? Real life problems, right? So I'm just gonna round in the foot here. Taking it really short at the toes and angling up on a bevel. Terriers, you really want them to look like they're up on their toes, um, which just generally means you don't want anything hanging on the ground. Um, if it is, it kind of gives a puddle foot look to it. Um, and as well as it just tracks mud and dirt and leaves and who wants any of that? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to trim off anything that sticks out beyond the plane of the pad. So you can see here that she has some of this stuff right here hanging out. I'm just gonna trim that off. Because we don't want anything sticking on the floor, anything on that same plan, plane of the pad is gonna naturally be on the ground. So we can trim that off beforehand. That should make rounding your feet much easier. You can also skim it off with your 40 blade while you're doing her, their pads. Um, that's generally what I do. Uh, it just makes life easier. Again, if you can make your clippers work good for you um, and kind of cut down the most scissoring you have to do um, in bulk, it will make you faster um, in the long run. <laughs>